fast food, the efficiency-based restaurant model employing millions of people around the world. Since the first White Castle opened in 1921, the fast food industry has changed the way people think about and consume food, turning meals into a cheap, tasty, and arguably unhealthy part of everyday life. Research has shown that a whopping 36.6% of American adults consume fast food on a given day. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm gonna to be sitting down with fast food employees to learn the inner workings of the preferred food source of modern mankind. How has their time as an employee affected their overall perception of the fast food industry? Are all the horrifying myths about what really goes on behind the scenes in the fast food industry actually true? Hey, Mateen. What's up, man? How you doing? Yo, Jesse Taylor. Hi, Anthony. What's up, hey. Bestie? Thank you so much for coming out and teaching us a little bit about the wondrous world of fast food. Food employees. Oh my God, ew, yeah. What do you consider yourself? Ex fast food employee or like fast food chef? I guess I'm just an ex fast food worker. An ex fast foodie? I mean, I worked there when I was in high school because it was the easiest job to get and, yeah. and pretty much any idiot could do it. <laughs> that was like a high school phase. I call fast food high school phase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I okay. call that the high school phase. Uh, which fast food places have you worked at? I worked at McDonald's. I worked at uh, Little Caesars. Wendy's, McDonald's, Yogurt Mountain. This is all in high school. Yeah. You know, I got my bread in high school. Uh -huh. Got my first apartment at 17. Oh, with that fast so, food money. With the fast food money, honey. Yeah. Did you have any specific greetings that you were taught to give people? Yeah, welcome to McDonald's. Uh, can I take your order? You didn't have to say your name. I mean, yeah. you, had, you wore a name tag. Yeah. And it was always weird when you wore the name tag and people would call you by your name. You didn't like that? No, I didn't. Even though my name is there. You're like, don't call me by yeah, my yeah, name. Yeah, this is just, just like, look. excuse me, yes, Mateen, I'll get, uh, I'm like, like how, like, how you know my name? Why, you're like, I don't want a personal connection? Yeah, it just seems like they know you. It's like naming the spider before you kill it. Yeah, you can't do it. Exactly. Like what, hey, hot bitch. I would say hot bitch a lot. Mm, <laughs> hot bitch. I would say, what's up, hot bitch? What do you want today? They'd be like, you're too pretty to be here. And then one of them like slapped my ass in the charge. I was like, what the hell? Like, how are they reaching that far? And they like got out of their car. I was like, were you mooning them? No, like I was just turning around, like taking their money. And I just feel that. And he's like, he's like, get my number. Like, I'll take care of you. Like, you don't ever have to work here again. I told my manager about it because I was like 18 at the time and I was yeah. like, what the heck? And then she's like, no, like, do it. Get out of this place. And I was like, what the heck? You were being encouraged. <laughs> by my manager. To, she was a lesbian. Yeah. She's, like, she's like, get out of this place. Go with that guy. And I was like, oh, it was like, he's. So did you enjoy your time working there? I mean, I did when I was there, but yeah. I, I just knew that. I had bigger aspirations. I had here I'm a teenager working with adults that are just like not making that much money than me, more money than me. But this is their livelihood. This is how they make their money. And I and I do feel like sometimes people do talk down to people that work fast food. But I mean these sometimes there's people that this was their only job that they can get. I thought it was so fun. What was the best part? I think just like the drive through. Why why do you like the drive through so much? Because I gotta like talk to people and like I gotta like start with people and I thought that was so funny. You would try to start with them? Yeah, I would purposely try to like start crap with people. Why? Did you not like, care about your job? No, obviously. Like I was like, I was because I went to Vegas the next week. <laughs> what does that have to do with what made you choose to work at McDonald's over other fast food places? The McDonald's was close to my house. I could walk there. I literally saw like no worth in myself. Like I literally like I like to be honest, like what am I gonna do if I didn't do YouTube? What am I gonna do if I didn't do Instagram? What would I do if I didn't do social media? Like, uh -huh. I would probably be back there. What was the hiring process like at these fast food places? Well, like, they would think it's a joke because, like, I'm some pretty girl walking. They'd be like, are you sure you want to work here? Like, why would you apply here? And so like, you felt sexism? Yeah, and then, oh my god, I, oh my god, why did I tell you this? I got hired at Chipotle when I graduated high school, and they right. fired me after one been, week. How many pl fast so, food places have you been fired lot. from? Most of the times when you fill out an application, like, oh yeah, we're hiring, and then you had to do a test, a simple, like, math test. What kind of math questions would they ask you? They would just be like, oh, if, if you had this amount of money and this person gave you this amount of money, the register's not working, how much would you give this person? So can you do subtraction and addition? Yes, basically? exactly. I applied at Chipotle first and they fired me because the, the dress code was jeans. Yeah. And like, you know, I got a big old bottom, so like whatever, and like, you know, I got this. So it was a tight shirt and tight jeans. That uh -huh. was the dress code. And they're like, yo, let's fire her. Like, she's too pretty to work here. They said, I think you're attractive to work here. So then I became a stripper. <laughs> what was your reaction like when you found out you were hired? 
It was a sense, sense of accomplishment because I couldn't work unless I went to church. That was a thing, because work was a privilege. Church is a requirement. Yeah, that's what in my household, it was a requirement. <laughs> now, <laughs> that, <laughs> Anna wants to know how many times you were disrespected. Oh, while like working. every single day, like every minute, every single day, disrespected. Like going home crying every single day, like telling, like being like, oh, like why do you work here? Always being called dumb, yeah. like by fast food people. And that's like, like no offense, but like low IQs, like the 90 percenters, like calling me dumb, like you know. <laughs> Have you ever witnessed anyone tampering with food? I witness people stealing. Oh, yeah. other people would be stealing food? Oh yeah, all the time, what, what, what? That was me, I we used to work at Wendy's. <laughs> 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 I would stuff a bunch of like chicken nuggets in my apron and I'd just eat them. Well, stealing food and like stealing money. People would steal money out of the register? That was in like a really like suburban ritzy area. Uh -huh. They were like the s snakes. Uh -huh. Like all these rich kids were doing the worst shit. So they worked in a bakery, right? And so uh -huh. all the bakery stuff was non-taxed. And most of the people that get stuff at the bakery, they get it all the time. So say Susan comes in and she, she knows she's gonna spend $10. You ask Susan, do you need a receipt? And she goes, no. Then you take the $10, you ring up uh, one roll, you open up the register, and then instead of putting the money in the register, you put it under the register. And then later you collect your money at the end of the day. Uh, and so I never did any of this. I never did any of this. I witnessed all of this stuff. <laughs> I never did this. <laughs> what was your most bizarre interaction with a customer? This homeless dude came in and he he started like <laughs> off in the McDonald's. I think a girl yelled like, oh my God, he's, he's <laughs> off. And then people just scatter. Uh, scatter like <laughs> away like, from it or they yeah, want to look at it? Uh, away from it. But like, but you looked at it. Yeah, because it's like a car accident, man. You can't, <laughs> you can't just look away from a homeless dude <laughs> off. Like if someone's like, yo, that homeless dude's <laughs> Off. You're, you're, gonna gonna look. you're gonna look. What's something people might not know about the fast food industry? For me, I was bullied a lot. I think at the strip club, kind of same. Mm. I can't even go back anymore. I'm getting threats. Do you believe that you got paid enough for the jobs that you were required to do? For me, I think it's a little different than everybody else. Wait, why? Because <laughs> I feel like I'm up there. What does that mean? I feel like, okay, so if you're gonna take like another person, let's just say I worked with, and then me, I'd say like twenty five for me. You like, should. Have, you think you should have been paid twenty five dollars an hour. I think so. Twenty five is like good. Twenty eight, and then I think for another person, probably like eight or seven. They just didn't care. Maybe I, you could make a little bit more money, but I don't feel like a uh, fast food employee should make what a doctor makes. <laughs> you right. know, but I was at McDonald's when it got robbed, and you were yeah. So I was working there. It got robbed. A, a, um, this dude named Marquise. He got off of work, and then like. A few hours later, these guys came in, and one of the dudes was there, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Marquise. And so... <laughs> you got like, robbed by an employee but, that you yeah, knew. But I'm pretty sure, I was like, that's pretty sure it's him. So like, and we you're were, not afraid to say his name either. Nah, nah I mean, yes, we gonna call him Marquise. <laughs> <laughs> they come in with baseball bats. So yeah. what they teach you is always give in to whatever the people demand because you don't want to cause any harm. Yeah. So you always give in to the demands. Uh-huh. It's so stupid. One dude goes, all right, we'll see you later, Marquise. Like, it just has a, like, a joke. And he, like, he didn't, re and, like, he turned around to, like, react. One to of the, the other workers said that. Yeah, yeah, because he, because we knew it was Marquise. <laughs> yeah. So we, like, why are you, like, you just left. Did he turn around and was like, bye, oh, but no, he did not do that. He wasn't stupid, but it was a reaction. <laughs> oh, he's not stupid. He yeah. just robbed the place. I said, he's not that stupid. Oh, okay. But I guess whoever, whoever was their getaway driver, he kind of like freaked out, so he, he left. So they caught the bus home, and the police caught them at the bus stop. So there, there should be, you should get a bonus if you get robbed. There should be. <laughs> After high school, I immediately went into making YouTube videos. Right. And I didn't really have that traditional fast food experience right. working in fast food. Do you think I missed out on a quintessential part of no. being in I think uh, if you would have done it, you probably would have still been there because that's what happens like 95% of the people. Mm -hmm. Like the people that I worked with then are literally still there. Like I'm not joking. I'm not saying that to be mean. Like I, yeah. I've seen their Instagrams. Like they're still at McDonald's. But what if they want to still... be there? What if that's where they want to spend their time? Good for them, right. not me. I want to make videos. You want to be famous? 
I, I would say I'm kind of up there already. You already famous. Yeah. Do you feel like going into a fast food place now? You have a different perception. I do What's have a different. Like? It's it's like being unplugged from the Matrix. <laughs> like you, you just you just red pill yourself. Yeah, you just you just know you know what's going on. You know what these people are going through, and um, you got to be nice to you, nice to them because they they can f with your food. Uh, yeah. What's the best part about working in fast food? You know, you're working with you know people that are your same age and like yeah. you're goofing off and it's kind of like uh, interacting with people at school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you it's you learn about different kinds of people and like if you like people watching, there's so many different kinds of people. What was the worst part about working there? So I'd always have like old people that would work with me, uh -huh. and since I was like so young, I was like 18, they'd always be like, "You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do this," and it's like. F you, like I would literally get in fights with them and curse them out and be like, I'm making so much more money than you, like you need to stop. Is it this really is, about the money a, though? It was at Steak and Shake, so I'd make $700 a day at Steak and Shake. You'd make $700 a, a day at place. Steak and Shake? Because it's a fast food place, but you can also sit down and eat and yeah. even tip. But I was making $700 a day working there. How? Because of me. I'm yeah. going to be a customer and you could sweet talk me, try to convince me to tip you. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hi. Um, so like, what do you want to eat? Like, we have this, like... <laughs> wow, you're not convincing you me yet. You look so good. Your hair looks so sexy, like, pushed back. <laughs> what do you think about the societal perception that fast food workers are lazy? There are lazy people right. that work in fast food, but there's lazy people that work in every aspect every of life. Every industry, even... There's lazy police officers. There's lazy and, people that all they do is invest in yeah, stocks. Yeah, yeah. everybody else <laughs> talking shit about fast food employees. I have an appreciation for it because I've been there and right. I've known exactly how it is. And I know if they don't have something, it's not it's not the kid behind the counter's fault. People just take shit out on people just because they're having a shit day. You know, they, they got into an argument with their wife and they really want an ice cream cone. And you right. come get an ice cream cone, it's like, you don't get have an ice cream cone, it just escalates. So why is the ice cream machine never I, working? I it, did it I ever know. work? It did sometimes. Was it ever actually it broken? It, it got used so much and then like, you know, you don't have things and like my general manager wasn't the, the best person at ordering shit. So, you, you know, sometimes you just, you just run out of shit. I'm not responsible for this. I'm a kid just working yeah. here. Like, if we don't have chicken patties, it's not because I up the order. It's your you know? fault, yeah. my team. Yeah. You didn't have my chicken exactly. patties. What do you think about fast food encouraging people to eat less home cooked meals? I think that's a great idea because I have no idea how to cook. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's fast food is encouraging people not to learn how to cook. Do you yeah, think that's good I or bad? So I have like M&Ms at my house. I have like a bunch of frozen food. I have like You're exactly what I'm talking macaroni. about. We're a culture of being accessible. Convenience. Convenience. You know, that's why you can call somebody up and they, they bring your food to you. Isn't that strange that's, though? That is, that's strange. Do you think that's affecting people negatively or positively? I think it's making people lazier. People are losing that connection to their food. Making food yourself is almost a spiritual thing in a weird it way. Is. For me, it is. I like to cook food yeah. and it's cheaper. And like, yeah. you know, it's easy to get girls over your house if you can cook. Hey, sexy bitches. I want you to go subscribe to Anthony Padillo. He's so sexy. Go, <laughs> go subscribe to him. All right, well, thank you, my team. Oh, man, thank you yeah, for having thank me. you. I feel like now I fully understand the wondrous world of fast food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After spending the day with former fast food employees, I've come to the conclusion that the draw to working at fast food restaurants is similar to the draw of consuming fast food itself. It's efficient, plentiful, and easily accessible. While it's easy to assume fast food workers are lazy and unskilled, these people are hardworking members of society who usually perform to the best of their abilities in order to earn a reliable paycheck. And their hard work and dedication is something all of us could learn to respect a little bit more. See you later, bye guys. Press the like.